Hey, what is up, all my lonely watchers? It's the Lonely Fabuki here, I'm back with another Yokai Watch video, and today we're gonna be getting back to some of the channel's older series. Starting off with chronicling the Yokai Watch manga. Yeah, a little while ago, I had a somewhat ambitious idea to chronicle every single entry in the Yokai Watch manga, like so. See, I only ever did one and two, and I never got to three, which is the last one I ordered. I originally only tried to order four, so I could do a video on that. But, uh, it gave me a second copy of three, so, yeah, that's that. Anyway, with this manga now in my hands, it is and I've reread it this morning, it is time to go through each of the chapters and see what it does and how it improves upon the last manga, or quite the opposite. Let's do this. Whoosh! Going in order. First, we're gonna look at chapter 15, Yokai Swimming Lessons. This one is pretty good. I mean, it does have that Yokai action that it, that it, you know the series is known for. It does feel very anime-esque, just in a bit shorter format, just like all the other ones. So this is a fun one. Basically, the premise is that uh, in gym class they're going to swim, and Nate doesn't know how to swim, so. Whisper is like, he'll teach you, but he ends up just winding up so that it can propel for the, through the water. So on the day of, he decides to do that with um, Nate by going under him and twirling up so that he can wind up and propel forward. But he ends up slamming into the concrete wall. This one is a bit of a mess start, and uh, I feel like there are a few problems. First, I want to get off the bat, you know, that start with... It didn't start with just this manga, but with all the other ones. Oh, uh, one of them being that, well, the, the primary one being that in every chapter it reminds you of who characters are. Like, this is Whisper, and, and Nate's an average elementary school student, and whatever. I feel like most people are reading along, they're not just getting one copy of the manga, and even if they are, they probably know what's going on already. You could probably just include, like, a basic gist, like, on the first page or whatever, but no, they keep reassuring through the entire book what the roles of all the characters are and what the Yokai Watch does pretty much the whole time in this volume, as well as all the others, which is ludicrous. I mean, come on, you only have to say it once, you know. That being said, I'm going to rate uh, this chapter a four out of five. It's pretty good. Uh, it's it's not the best, but it's, it's a pretty decent chapter. I feel like three would be low and balling it. Actually, no, never mind. I give it a three uh, because it's kind of average. Chapter 16 Some things are better left unsaid. So, this chapter takes a similar premise from the anime episode of Tattletale, where Katie is um, in, in spirit. <laughs> I can't talk today. Inspired by Tattletale and is being s m mean to everybody by saying true things. They're treating her like she said insults, even though she's just saying things that shouldn't be said. Like, I feel like everybody's overreacting, but this is elementary school, so what that's to be expected. Anyway, it's a basic interaction kind of fight off between uh, Jabanyan and them and Tattletale. Except Tattletale falls in love with Jabanyan, and this is a reoccurring theme in the rest of the book. Honestly, it's a pretty pretty decent gag, especially because all the other long running runs aren't that good. So it, I, I'd say this is a solid one. Anyway, you beat her, befriend her, and then make was at forget everything Katie said, and all is swell. Either way, the character development in this one was good, and it was a simple, wacky adventure. I'd rate it a 4 out of 5. Chapter 17, Insatiable Hunger, featuring Hungorge, surprisingly not Hung Gramps, you know, his origin for him. But let's get into that. In this one, you follow the yokai Hungorge, who is making Nate... Any takers? Tap on the screen to lock in your vote. Anyway, after eating most everything in the house, including all the food, and, uh, some... weird methods of getting it sometimes, our mom comes home expecting the house to be finally cleaned after our first encounter. And it kind of is because the Hungorge ate the whole couch. I don't like this one. It's a stupid premise and some things in it are just... 
gross. Two out of five. Chapter 18, Perfect Team, featuring powerful yokai Goruma. This one has a meta joke, break, fourth wall breaking joke, where they say that they only have eight pages to beat this yokai, it just shows up out of nowhere. And then Jabanyan takes his paws of fury to his groin. Bad chapter, bad execution, two chart, one out of five. Man, these scores just keep getting lower. Let's see if we can fix that with chapter 19, the Mangy Mutt Bites. So basically, we're looking for Mangy Mutt because we heard reports of a dog out on the loose with a human face. We see it and uh, we lie to it say saying it's not ugly. To which Mangy Mutt bites us and turns us into little poodles. That is before Fat Jibanyan is summoned and you see what I mean about some of these being stupid? I mean, I guess the premise was good, giving Mangy Mutt the ability to turn other people into um, Jim and Ken by just biting them. But it's kind of poorly executed, and I think the, the whole thing is a bit drawn out. The whole friendship thing doesn't seem natural, and it's... I don't like this chapter 2 out of 5. Man, maybe I was right in last episode's clickbait title, and 2 really was the peak. Anyway, halfway through, moving on to chapter 20, Jibanyan's Tale. And this is the start of what some people were warning me as when it came to the Yokai Watch manga becoming bad. And that very thing is the Jibanyan chapters, where Jibanyan's on his own accord, and his, and his adventures are dumb. This one just sets up the premise for it, saying, like, Jibanyan's backstory, which we've already been told a dozen times, even in this very manga, we've been to told it multiple times. But basically, he was hit by a truck, and now he wants to get revenge. He tries to hit trucks for a few pages, and then he gets run over. One out of five. Jesus, these are going downhill. There was no story, it was just a setup that could have been reserved for the first Jibanyan chapter when they did it. They could have just merged it with that one, or they could have just let it go and have like a short introduction in the first chapter. It's so dumb. Chapter 21, How to Fight an Invisible Enemy, is about Nate and his gang ganging up to defeat Blandon, who is surprisingly pretty hard to fight for, uh, you know, that. But of course, with teamwork, we save the day using all the powers of all the yokai to kind of get his weakness out of him and show us where the real one is after he starts cloning. This one, it's a good premise again, but it's not executed very well, and I just didn't like where this one was going. But I'll still give it a 3 out of 5. Chapter 22, Spa Battle Overflow, in which we some reason go back to Jibanyan. Why we took a one chapter break to go to, to, to Nate and his pals, I have no idea. Basically, this is just taking the normal story of Sprite and then just removing Nate and Whisper, which are the characters that make it interesting. Jibanyan just wants to go to the spa on his own because he can, because he's a yokai, because no one can see him. And the water's too hot, so he eventually sees it's Sprite and... Uh, tries to get him out, and Sprunk uses his nose fl flames to propel him upward, and he ends up hitting the ceiling and getting, like, stuck in the corner. It, it, the, the manga doesn't really make it clear exactly what happens to him, even with the real illustrations, I'm still lost. Anyway, Jibanyan water inflates and puts him out. Why did you bring inflation into the Yokai Watch? Why level 5? Why is this, this entry in particular obsessed with that? Just for that, I'm going to give it a 1 out of 5, dear god, and it wasn't that interesting of a story to begin with, the version with Jibanyan and Nate was, I mean, I mean Whisper and Nate as well, was infinitely more interesting. Chapter 23, Jibanyan's Flight Dream, featuring Snot Salong. Basically, Jibanyan gets Snot Salong to let him fly because he got Snot stuck on him and he felt bad, and basically the plot of it is, is Snot is long. You know, like it's not so long as snot would be, and it keeps getting them entangled, and it keeps getting Jibanyan all mucusy. One out of five. Come on, guys. What happened to the writers? The first two were good. I don't like these Jibanyan stories. They're awful. Thankfully, that's the last one as we move on to our final, you know, 
Normal chapter. Chapter 24, the legendary luxurious yokai, Dianyan. So this one is probably the highlight, and it makes sense as being the last one. Basically, Katie lost the diamond ring of her mother, and we have to try and find it, but it turns out it was picked up by Dianyan, this elitist, um, what's the word I'm looking for? At, who basically says he gets to keep the ring, and it's his, so when we summon Jibanyan, and he realizes that Dianyan is wearing his collar, which he now remembers is a collar that Amy gave him that was very special, they start fighting before Jibanyan steals the ring for himself. But he eventually uses it to beat Dianyan, because there's only one way to beat Diamond, and it's Diamond. Anyway, Dianyan goes to Restore Arc, and he says he'll never take stuff from people again due to Nick's generosity and he ends up giving him his leg to buy over the new bike that he crushed and Jibanya runs away with the ring which eventually falls out of his hand and Katie picks it up himself and Nate doesn't get any of the credit for finding it. Wow. This one was actually, I really liked this chapter. I really liked the, the gags and I really liked the, 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 con the, the conflict between the, the Black Dynia and Nate and the gang. Um, I think some of the gags were really funny. I'm not going to spoil too many of them because they're actually really good in this one. Uh, and I think it's the most well-developed chapter. For some reason in the table of contents where it says it's 24, it's 24, but in the actual book, in, in the when you get to that chapter, it says 10. I don't know what's wrong with that. But this is probably one of the best chapters I've ever read, um, not only in this volume, but in the entire series. Five out of five. And then there's the bonus chapter, which is pretty much Jibanyan's interactions with a bunch of different yokai, sometimes names, you know, that, that's something they do at the end of every one of these mangas. Uh, nothing of note here, really, it's just a bunch of interactions with new yokai, except the only, you know, things that are really of note is that Anti Heart um, is, is here is depicted as someone who threatens you into behavior, which I thought was funny. And the fact that Nate tries to sell um, Golden Yon at Yorozo Mart or Every Mart, which I think was a really call funny callback to the games. Uh, but besides that, nothing of note. So I'm done with this. Let's take a look. So overall, the scores are horrendous. There are like two good ones in there, some mediocre ones, and a bunch of bad ones. Uh, I think the Jibanyan type, the uh, Jibanyan chapters are really, 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 really stupid. Anyway, I stand by my statement that 2 has been the best so far, and I hope that future titles and future manga adaptations don't make these same mistakes. Anyway, I might get 4 soon, but don't, don't, uh, I, probably not for a while, okay, just letting you know, but I do want to do 4 at some point, and I want to work all the way up to 19 are we at being localized because I know they're still being localized but I know they definitely are still doing them and we have a decent chunk to get through anyway only time will tell and that's it my lonely watchers if you like this video like and subscribe make sure to watch the other two manga videos if you haven't already it wasn't really required to enjoy this video so I didn't put it at the beginning um, stay tuned every week for new videos and I will see you all on the flip side. Bye bye, my lonely watcher.